Now, these type of images used to be images that my team would literally take hours to do if they were to create from scratch utilizing some sort of design software. And when I wanted to create original ads that really pop, that looks original, that isn't a stock photo, that is going to be making money, that is going to go against the grain, that is going to stand out and pop, it would literally be hours and hours and hours of work. But today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how AI has literally disrupted everything and how you can create original videos, or rather in this case here, original images, utilizing AI, understanding prompt, understanding how to utilize mid journey and how that's going to change the game of social media, image creation, design, as well as ads. That's just not, not just going to save you money and time, but also take your brand to a whole new level. Ping Jun here, founder of salesprocess.com. And if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about how do you build, grow, and scale your online business by having a winning sales process in place. And when it comes to winning sales processes, this video is all about going deep into utilizing mid-journey, chat GPT, as well as artificial intelligence to help you drive more traffic, create more ads, utilizing creatives that really pop. And I'm, the reason why I'm so excited for this specific video coming up is because for a really long time, this was something that we required us an entire team of full-time designers creating these different images. But right now, literally, you might think it's an exaggeration, but literally in seven seconds, you'll be able to see why original images that looks absolutely beautiful is gonna be generated in just one click and it really makes you wonder where artificial intelligence is is hit it. Now, if you want to be able to be the top of your game when it comes to utilizing AI, fueling your sales process, uh, consider subscribing to the channel and smash the like button because it does help the channel out. This is basically mid journey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by showing you how to utilize chat GPT to train up text prompts to feed, to feed mid journey to create the original art that you want that really pops. Because Here's the thing about artificial intelligence. It can only give you what it is that you want, and it's only as good as the input as well as the prompts you give the software, okay? So for ChatGPT, let's begin with a simple question like, all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, uh, do you know what prompts are? Okay, let, let's see what uh, ChatGPT says. Okay, so basically, ChatGPT in its programming world talks about how it is a prompt or a text snippet that is used to generate natural language text as a response. Now, that might make no sense to you. It will in a second. So here's the next thing that we're going to tell. Now, ChatGPT is, is a chat. So it kind of remembers what it is that you're asking and what it is that you're telling them. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Chat GPT, and I'm gonna say uh, there is another AI like you uh, called Mid Journey. All right, zooming in a little bit, notice what I'm doing right now. I am gonna feed in this input, and I'm gonna tell OpenAI that there is another AI called Mid Journey, and basically, it, we give it text prompts based on our imagination. And based on our imagination, it creates images out of those prompts, right? So I'm saying, can I give you some examples and you generate some of these prompts for me, okay? So notice what ChatGPT is saying. Yes, just give me some examples of the kind of image you wanna generate and I'll do my best to provide a suitable prompt. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna go back to Mid Journey and I am going to select images that, that I like. So all I'm gonna do, do, gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Community Showcase just like some of these images are just out of the world beautiful. Like the amount of creativity. Just think about like this image right here. Like it's just, man. Okay, so like how do you create? To, so notice the problem. It says tilt shift looking up a giant sequoia time-lapse astronomical photograph. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the prompt. 
and I'm going to give um, chat GPT, right? I'm just going to say, here's an example, okay? Um, and then now, it's kind of like remembering the prompt, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to feed, man, it's like this beautiful as well. I'm just going to copy a few, okay? Notice what I'm doing. So I'll say like, here is another example. You can see this is a little bit harder to explain, right? Tumbling, tilt shifting, triple exposure, cybernetic, polypore, eccentric, prototype, ethereal type of enhancement of female hacking, right? So like, it's, it's like, typically, if you wanted to explain this, it, it would be tough, right? So like I said, like, art, what makes it powerful is it just it depends on the input. So it really depends on the type of image that you want created. And the best way is just look at images that you already like based on the design, the feel of it. So the ones, notice the ones I'm picking is just like these out of these world um, images. Now, why am I doing that? Because I know that the output that I want is if it's for ads, I want it to be scroll stopping. I want it to, I want it to go against the grain. I want a person to be tilting their heads, going, "Wow, what kind of ad? What kind of image is this?" So, here is another example. I'm just gonna feed in, um, like, oh wait, I just, I just. All right, so I had to pause the video for a second because I thought I pasted the same prompt again, but I realized that it is slightly different. The start is the same right but the end um this was like a forest whereas this was a uh, warped perspective so it's it's similar but it's not the same and that's why the output was is somewhat similar right now you you i, I can i can keep going on like this looks like a magical forest and of course this depends on the type of image that you want created right so notice there's a specific look and feel that i am utilizing right now we'll just do one more for example and then we'll, I'll show you how, what's the next thing needs to be done. Okay, so I've now fed ChatGPT uh, three different examples. Now, of course, if I wanted to, for it to learn more examples, I would um, just keep going and keep feeding uh, the type of images that, that I like. I love this one here as well. I think it looks amazing. Okay, so I could keep going on. So it just remembers the different prompts that I like. But once I've done that, Okay, that's why we're gonna move on to the next step. Let's wait for this to uh, finish loading. Okay, so now that's done, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell ChatGPT, give me a creative text prompt based on all the examples I gave you earlier. Okay, let's see what happens. So now it's kind of like, based on the three things now obviously with, again with a larger pool of data right there's gonna be more type of prompts but now it's going to create you know creative text prompts based on different elements okay so let's see what it comes up with all right so now all i'm going to do is i am going to take the prompt and i'm going to go back to mid journey and all i'm going to do is i'm going to create an image now I'm gonna go on uh, the Discord channel. And this is where I am going to create a prompt. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to one of these channels and I am going to type in uh, slash imagine and I'm gonna put in the prompt over here, okay? So I'd like you to notice what happens right now. Um, it's sending the command to mid journey. Sometimes it might take a while. Okay, so this is basically the, the command that we've given. Um, let's see what it initially comes up with first. It might take a couple of minutes, one minute tops for it to kind of like generate the, 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 the image. Okay, it'll, it'll, it'll become clearer um, in, in a minute or so, 93, 93% done. Okay, so take a look at this image over here. Okay, now this is just random amount of pro uh, prompts put in here. Now you might be thinking, so how does this help me, right? I'm a chiropractor, I'm a dentist, I'm a digital marketing service. What does this have to do with my business and ads and social media, okay? So remember, 
What we've done right up to this point is to learn different type of prompts that we otherwise would not have thought of ourselves. And we just asked ChatGPT to give us different types of prompts. So now what we can do is we can utilize the prompts in here that we like, throw away the ones that we don't like, and then create and add in keywords that we feel is related to our market. Okay, so so let's let's try this again with this um, in mind. So now let's say I'm, let's say I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a dentist. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put imagine or a chiropractor or, or, or a doctor. So all I'm doing is I am putting in the keyword that I want that's related to my market. Okay, so let's say I'm targeting doctors. Okay. Um, and then I might want to delete the stuff that might not make sense, like like butterfly f forest, okay? Like for example, like like a campsite, um, cybernetic and apocalyptic. Maybe I just want it to go against the grain and and and, and stand out and have it look different, okay? Um, let let's let's see what happens, okay? So the whole goal is to go against the green. Now, while it's doing its thing, so notice this how it's in stages. Stage number one is all about learning different type of prompts based on what the community is doing. Number two, putting the prompts inside ChatGPT to create new prompts. And again, if we spent more time with more examples, um, ChatGPT would have a lot more data to learn from. Then after that, we're taking back the same prompts, chucking it back into mid-journey. Um, and seeing what actually happens. Now, again, it's gonna be only as good as the input that we 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 give ChatGPT. Now, take a look at this. Okay, so like doctor in PPE mask. So you notice that this is this is what I call like a scroll stopping image. Okay, this is a an unusual image that still looks beautiful. It's out of the world. It's creative. But this. And, and this image is going to beat the stock image of a doctor with the stethoscope, with that clear mathematical, with the mathematical formula, you know, in, 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 written on clear glass every single time, okay? Now this just off the cuff, with, with, without even really looking at the prompts in here. Can you, can you see why this is so powerful? Now this is just the beginning. This, is, this could be images for social media. This could be for scroll stopping ads. This could be for your funnel design, okay? And by the way, if you want to be able to see how to, this is utilized for our, our, our designs for funnels, uh, be sure to smash the, the, the subscribe button. We're going to be creating, as you can see, this channel, where I'm, I'm dedicating a lot more time and resources showing you behind the scenes to how we're doing this. Uh, but this is how you really level up your game of creatives um, and um, images that can be applied throughout not just social media, throughout ads, but also throughout your entire sales process. Um, and speaking of sales process, if you wanna be able to build up a winning sales process that integrates AI um, to help you generate more leads, to help you convert these leads to sales, uh, go check out our software, salesprocess.com. You get a free 14-day trial um, where all of the, the architecture, the infrastructure of all these different funnels, the emails, the follow-up process, they're all done. Um, go check it out for yourself. I'm pretty sure you'll love it. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you found value utilizing these different softwares. I can tell you that this is still just the beginning. This is the infancy of AI. I just can't imagine where AI is going to be just a year, three years, five years from now. And finally, if you want to truly get good at AI, be sure to binge watch this entire playlist um, to be able to get cutting edge strategies on utilizing AI to help you fuel your marketing. I'll see you in the next video.